Hello everyone, our project is Smart Thrift Savings Wallet on the Catalyst Challenge Grow Africa Grow Cardinal Fund 6. My name is Odosu Jose, I'm from Nigeria. Please meet the Thrift Finance team, Jamie Castle, Greg Nwosu, and Falai Jai. On this presentation, I will be co-presenting with Jamie Castle. Now let's talk about the problems in Africa that motivated us to start Smart Thrift Savings Wallet. First, a lot of people, mostly the youths, are rushing into the cryptocurrency space due to the access, increased access to the internet. However, they lack knowledge and do not have the products available for personal finance management in the cryptocurrency space. Second, difficulty in owning personal finance data and identity to interact securely, privately, and seamlessly with organizations. Third, limited, easy to use decentralized savings, low risk, micro lending and investment solutions that actually give a thought to the unique African economic realities. So who are we targeting? The youth which makes 60% of the African population, the civil and business sector category, the low and middle income category who are the banked and underbanked. Hi, Cardone community. This is Jaime Caso from Tenerife. I'm a stake pool operator and wallet developer at Street Finance. So let's talk about solutions. Our main goal will be develop a user-friendly financial smart mobile wallet to drive Cardano adoption in Africa through savings and open decentralized finance. In addition, we're working to implement a smart finance assistant to help motivate, propose alternatives, new service, and provide analytics about your financial health. Also, we are working to digitize the traditional African credit union to improve the current system with put smart contracts. Now let's talk about the roadmap. The first stage consists in three phases. Firstly, initiate the development of the mobile application, which has already started. Support the protocol functionalities from Shelly to Alonso Vera. Support for different mobile devices as Android and iOS using React Native. Multilingual support. In addition to common languages like English, French, or Spanish, we will work with local languages like Yoruba from Nigeria. Also, start a landing page to offer updates about the project. For the final stage, we will continue with the wallet development, set up continuous integration and deployment for each environment, start with the first analytics about savings, continue with landing page and social media profiles publish wallet tutorials to facilitate its use, start marketing campaigns to find the first users, start interacting with the current community and set up our public channels, and finally deploy the first minimal available product. We have already seen the first solutions, the timings, but what happened next? We have just started and we want to support new functionalities in the future. For example, what is the point of saving if you can pass the funds or properties to your future children. That's why we want to solve the problem of property transfer to avoid this issue. Also, we are planning to support Atala Priest framework to solve identity, making more inclusive this new service in healthcare, education, and other use cases. For access to this new service, we will adopt Adapt Connector to be able to interact with these solutions based on smart contracts. Also, we will design a financial health qualification system which helps to better understand the personalized situation of each user. And this is just the beginning. Many more possibilities will come to help improve the lives who most need it. What does success mean to us at Trip Finance? At this stage, our major focus is the adoption of our wallets and Cardano in Africa. For instance, individuals and businesses adopt a unique solution to access credit while keeping capital secure. For more details on this, please see our other proposal at the end of this presentation. Onboarded Africans can perform goal-oriented savings, pay utility bills, use P2P payments, etc. Make informed financial decisions, have the complete ownership of their data. To summarize, our goal is to lift Africans economically through a decentralized smart personal finance wallet and foster Cardano adoption in Africa. You can get to our proposals or to us using any of the channels below. Thank you for listening. Africa loves the Cardano community back.
Hello, my name is Cole Bartlett, and I came up with Sustainable Ada because six months ago, while finishing my degree in economics and sustainability, I found a strong connection with blockchain technology and how it can help achieve our sustainable development goals by 2030, a technology that can be used to solve problems we face across the globe today, along with its ability to create a more sustainable and equitable world for all. I felt this technology and its connection to sustainability was lacking and not clear to most people. There isn't a blockchain that's core values are focused on sustainability like Cardano. That's why we've created Sustainable Ada. Sustainable Ada is a place you can learn more about these connections and will act as a bridge for people all over the world to come join the Cardano community. Hi everyone, I'm Rosali, and some of you know me as Raz. Earlier this year, I joined Cole as co-founder of Sustainable Ada. At Sustainable Ada, we seek to fill the gap in stories told through human interest and sustainability lenses. Stories of how Cardano's technology is empowering people to build solutions that tackle climate, finance, and sustainability challenges. We want more people to learn about Cardano's blockchain technology and the people bringing it to life. Therefore, please support us at Sustainable Ada. Your voting power will help us to bring you stories told through a sustainability lens and more insights on which projects and stake pools within the ecosystem are and will lead the way to a more climate-friendly, equitable, and prosperous world for all. Sustainable Ada connects you to the real-life examples of how Cardano is enabling cascading disruption by change agents creating a better tomorrow today. Stories of empowering people taking action in life-changing ways Actions that ripple in globe-shifting ways for a more sustainable, peaceful, and prosperous world for all. Connecting the dots between blockchain, Cardano, and sustainable development goals, SDGs, and actions on the ground by showcasing case studies of positive progress and potentially valuable opportunities to be unlocked. Sustainable Ada is a space where you can learn more about the transformative potential and impact of Cardano and collaborate with others to receive guidance, access to tools, and community support while integrating solutions to challenges faced by you, your business, or your community. Clarifying and demystifying notions of blockchain and how it relates to sustainability and sustainable development goals, SDGs. Providing resources for educators and activists to confidently introduce blockchain technology into people's lives, highlighting the sustainable advantages and positive impacts on communities and businesses. Bridging people into a world where they are welcomed on their lifelong learning journey and invited into the Cardano community. Ultimately enabling and empowering visitors to discover, acquire, and nurture an appreciation of what blockchain is its limitations, and its possibilities. Sustainable Ada, the stepping stones to a sustainable and equitable world for all. Sustainable Ada, global sustainable stories and use cases. Project Catalyst proposal number one. Our problem statement, there should be more of a spotlight on Cardano's projects implemented in Africa, their stories and challenges and solutions across the continent. Sustainable Ada's solution will be sharing stories from change agents in Africa and the diaspora, engaging with Cardano and cascading disruption, creating a better tomorrow today. If we get funded, we'll produce articles and more content on the website, shared across social media platforms that connects Cardano with sustainability, UN Sustainable Development Goals, Donut Economics, Circular Economy, and the sustainability and climate change focused projects in Catalyst. Sustainable Ada, Global Mission Driven Newsroom, Project Catalyst Proposal Number 2 Our Problem Statement There isn't enough participation and story sharing about stake pool operators in the Cardano ecosystem in different languages globally found in one place. Our solution? Sharing stories, facilitating and increasing meaningful participation from mission-driven stake pool operators and stakeholders globally within Cardano. If we get funded, Sustainable Ada will contact 193 countries focusing on all the language groups within Cardano and aiming to get a story written by a writer, at least one person representing each country in the world, and talking about their connection with Cardano, blockchain, and sustainability. Sustainable Ada, the stepping stones to a sustainable and equitable world for all. Hello there, everyone. My name is Brandon from Black Rhino. 
We are a project that submitted a proposal to F6, Grow Africa, Grow Cardano. I'm here to tell you a little bit more about what we do. And if you're interested, please feel free to reach out to us on Twitter or Instagram, at BlackRhinoINTL, or on our website, www.projectblackrhino.com. So for now, let's get into it. We broke our problem down into three statements. The number of critically endangered species key to ecosystems around the world continue to rise. No easy way currently exists for everyday cryptocurrency users, such as you and I, to support endangered species conservation. And no easy way currently exists for conservation organizations to increase support or funding in the blockchain space. Extinction numbers continue to rise and donation rates continue to fall. Now, for organizations like WWF or Old Pajetta or, or many more organizations, this is a major issue, considering that a large percentage of funding for these organizations comes from individual donors. Now, the global pandemic has only made this issue more serious. So with an estimated $3 trillion currently circulating in cryptocurrency markets and $28 billion currently circulating in NFT markets, we believe that now is the time to invest in a new solution and new opportunities in the blockchain space. So we came up with a three-part solution. The first part is an online platform which makes cryptocurrency donations and fundraising possible. The second part is a native token that incentivizes holders to, for, to democratically support conservation organizations. The third part is NFT collections released in partnership with organizations and individuals in support of conservation efforts. So let's break this down more. Black Rhino portals will be held on an online platform which will facilitate cryptocurrency donations and reward users for donating. We will provide a simple end-to-end -end solution for nonprofit organizations, allowing them to accept cryptocurrency donations and fundraising. Second is Black Rhino token. So Black Rhino token is a cryptocurrency token that is taxed and a percentage of that tax goes towards a pool which is allocated every month and is voted on by, ho by holders of the token and every month that pool will be donated to an organization of the voters choice, whoever, whichever organizations they vote on. Thirdly is the NFTs. So NFT collections that will be released in partnership with organizations around the world allowing these organizations to participate in NFT markets and give them the ability to release their own official collections. Users will be able to purchase rare and unique works while supporting conservation works. So what are the advantages? Well, we're incentivizing everyday cryptocurrency users with rewards for supporting conservation. We're also allowing nonprofit organizations to benefit from cryptocurrency and NFT markets. Thirdly, we're also encouraging individuals around the world to participate in supporting conservation. Our team is young, but experienced and capable, and we are also always looking to grow. We are actually currently looking to add new members as well as advisors, so if you're interested, please feel free to reach out. We all come from a wide variety of backgrounds, but we are all specialists in our field. We've created a roadmap with milestones and goals listed by quarter that we plan to accomplish. And as of right now, we are currently building this out to plan for a long-term future. So what does success look like to us? Well, success to us is when Black Rhino becomes a self-sustaining online ecosystem with a dedicated community, when we're working, when we have working partnerships with many organizations around the world, and when we see increased revenue for nonprofit organizations as well as significant increases in endangered species populations. In conclusion, protecting endangered species has become one of the great challenges of our time. New opportunities in blockchain present a sustainable, long-term, effective solution, and the future of our planet depends on the decisions we made today. We believe at Black Rhino that we have a solution to this problem. Thank you very much for your time. Please feel free to reach out on our website, www.projectblackrhino.com. Once again, my name is Brandon. Thank you very much, and thank you to everyone at Cardano and the Cardano Summit and Project Catalyst, and have a great day. Thank you. We are Waya Collective, and we enable African manufacturing to scale across the world. 
This is Jemmy. Jemmy runs a knitting business in Uganda. She started the business a couple of years ago when she needed to change her career due to an injury. Now she employs five people who she taught how to produce knitted hats, sweaters and more. Her customers are mainly schools and individuals that she acquires on her Facebook page. However, due to COVID, schools were closed for more than a year now and this main source of income completely faded for Jemmy. Manufacturing in Africa is massive and we believe that it's the only way to create the many necessary jobs that Africa needs. Let's take the fashion industry as an example. It is the second largest employer in Africa, but currently only less than 1% of global fashion exports come from African countries. We believe that producers like Jemmy have a huge potential to build great and growing businesses that can export fair, sustainable and high quality products to the global market. But at the moment, they even have a hard time to make an income beyond survival. That's because they lack three things. We are building a decentralized production system that solves the three problems. And we start out in the fashion industry. Making a garment takes designing, product development, fabric sourcing, tailoring, and many more tasks. We provide a platform where fashion labels can easily place orders. All of the tasks can then be taken up by a small business to agreed term specified in smart contracts. The second problem is access to capital. We want the businesses to grow with us. For that, capital is necessary. And with all of the information we have about the businesses, we can easily create a system for credit ratings. By using a combination of a security token and a stablecoin, we can always provide working capital to the producers. Supply chains in Africa are usually peer-to-peer -peer and informal. This often leads to high prices and low efficiency. We believe that decentral value chains can have advantages too, such as flexibility and robustness. Cardano enables the transparent, efficient and decentralized systems that manufacturing in Africa needs. As a founder, I often have to wear many hats at once. But luckily, I'm not alone in this. And this is the team behind Waya Collective. Over to you, Caro. Thanks, Tony. Hi, I'm Carolyn, and as you can see, I'm passionate about nature. I study mathematics, and since school, I've been working on startup ideas. I've already seen the startup world from the investor, political, and startup view in my previous works. At Via Collective, I am mainly responsible for finances and the operations on the German side. Here, Chris, take a mini onsai. Thank you very much, and hi. I'm Chris. My background is in computing and AI, and I've been also involved in the Cardano ecosystem for over a year now. I've been running my own stake pool, and I'm building a decentralized exchange, Mirko.io. If you want, come check it out. The unique thing about Vaya, however, is that by tokenizing real parts of the physical production process, businesses, goods, and services, we can actually hope to very soon fulfill the promise that blockchain has given us over 10 years ago. And I hope this excites you as well. Antonia, back to you. Thank you, Chris. And myself, Antonia. I am an entrepreneur and over the past two and a half years, I developed a really deep passion for the African continent. I just see so much potential and it makes me really mad that I often feel like the rest of the world underestimates it. I want everyone to be able to fulfill their potential and with Wire Collective, I feel like I've found a way to do that.
Safety in Numbers is proud to present the Cardano Ambassadors with our mission of lifting barriers to blockchain. The way we're doing it is to include by explaining, bridge by translating, and unite by informing. Achieving our mission would be possible through simple language usage, summarizing the essence of the content in order to finally lift the language barrier. Within the first three months of our existence, the Ambassadors already demonstrated our proof of concept in which we create one animation or video and without extra editing can be published in an infinite number of languages. We do that by making sure that all our content and text is ready-made for this process. Our economic value proposition can reduce the commercial cost of whiteboard animation from 2,500 US dollars a minute to under 200 US dollars for a five-minute animation. After interviewing many crypto newbies all over the world, we learned that the majority of Catalyst proposers follow the same trajectory, namely, come for the money, stay for the mission. So first thing a newbie needs is explanation about blockchain basics. Our what is, why is series answers questions like what is Bitcoin and blockchain? What is taking? Next type of question asked is how to acquire and store and use cryptos. Our how to series deals with topics like how and where do I buy crypto? How can you stake? How can you download a wallet? After this stage, they start to wonder what makes Cardano so special. Our Cardano special deals with subjects like what do native tokens mean? What is the importance of Babel fees? What makes Cardano the best place for NFTs? After understanding the uniqueness of Cardano and Catalyst, the hunger for more detailed information grows. So, we want to bring Cardano and Catalyst news in multiple languages through in-depth interviews with Catalyst proposals and debate formats with constructive analysis of Cardano technology. Our media channel roadmap is also just beginning to be deployed. First, we started by opening separate YouTube channels for language, all named Welcome to Cardano. Thanks to to our POC, we have to create audio files per language which will be published on a Langbassador SoundCloud channel to accommodate people from developing countries where internet connectivity is poor and bandwidth very expensive. Our third media channel will be our Cardano news site where scripts of our educational animations and in-depth articles and news articles will be published. The first website created is our fun 5 and 6 campaign website safetyinnumbers.co. Our Cardano news channel will be one of the three components of our transition translator platform blockchaintranslation.io. The other components will be our translation collaboration platform and a marketplace where ambassadors can offer commercial translation services. The first key milestone was finishing the Safety in Numbers Collective White Paper with the Langbassadors Program. On April 10, we started deployment of the Langbassadors Program with three people and submitted our Fund 5 proposal, Aid and Use in African Languages. By July 30, the Langbassadors already received contributions from 20 people. We successfully demonstrated seven proofs of concept mentioned in our white paper. One of them was our core POC with the first animation in seven plus languages. Details can be found by clicking our safetyinnumbers.co website's roadmap button. On August 12, we received news of being a Catalyst Fun 5 winner. A September 1st snapshot of Langbassador's key numbers shows greater than 5,000 hours collective volunteer hours spent, greater than 15 languages covered, six Langbassador's language hubs already created, contributions from 30 volunteers received Received, and three what is animation scripts ready. We hope for your continued support on our Fund 6 proposals. A continuation of the Fund 5 proposal, Ada News in African Languages, but in Fund 6, we also hope for support for other languages such as Japanese, Filipino, Dutch, several more in our proposal, 100 Cardano animations non-English. Our third proposal wants to create commercial translation services component of our blockchain translation.io platform. Our last proposal aims to create 80 multi-languages how-to podcasts. Thank you. My name is Olon Araji, and I'm the co-founder of Taco Nigeria. I'll be presenting to you the funding proposal for the African housing payment application in conjunction with Castle Rail. So to give you a bit of background around the challenging housing crisis in Africa, African cities are becoming the new home to over 40,000 people every day many of whom find themselves without a roof over their heads. And this is according to an IFC report recently. Um, across Africa, over 1.2 billion residents are expected in urban cities by 2050. Most households cannot afford basic homes or housing or access to mortgage loans. 
the sub-Saharan Africa is experiencing rapid urbanization as well as a growing slum population. Yet, uh, we, we know that a well-functioning housing market can be a vital economic sector and a potential source of job creation to address the appalling high unemployment crisis across Africa. So what are the problems we're trying to solve? We know that informal identity and lack of payment records prevent potential purchases of affordable housing with good payment histories um, from establishing credit profile to access finance for housing and other purchases. We also know that as a result of that lack of um, um, credit profile, the financing of affordable housing delivery is adversely affected by the lack of any credible data on the volume and actually the prevalence of this informal payment. And this dissuades a lot of potential investors from investing in affordable housing because they're not sure that the market, the effective demand is there. What is the solution we're proposing? We're proposing a decentralized identity and payment tracking application built using Cardano and Atala Prism. The team consists of primarily the, um, as I said earlier, the, co the, the African housing company, which is a company, an affordable housing developer based in Nigeria, and Casarail, who is also an affordable housing developer based in Mozambique. The two housing developers are coming across Africa because we share common challenges and common constraints, and we believe that we also share common solutions. We're primarily affordable housing developers, providing housing for those in the bottom end of the income pyramid. In terms of our project plan, our proposed identity and payment tracking solution is broken down into two components. And we deliver the following. We deliver a customer facing mobile app. We also deliver a business facing web app. We plan that as the capabilities are made available, through the solution as it grows, that additional features could be introduced to further improve the customer experience. Importantly, in terms of ownership of the application, we believe that this application will be developed as an open source software to also provide access to other similar housing providers across Africa to leverage the capabilities for, our, for their customers as well. In terms of time scale and budget, we expect the project to be completed in three months from Atala Prism availability. And we've also provided a detailed project, project breakdown in our funding proposal. But the total sum we require is $42,500. Um, can I just say thank you very much? And I hope that um, you find this project exciting and compelling for you to support. Thank you. Location, location, integration. That's the head header under which this year we'll be applying for the Fund 6 round of funding by the Cardano Foundation. What we are trying to achieve can be given to you in a very simple problem and use case. If you ask somebody today in Africa, where do you live? Where is your business? Where can I find you? Something which may be obvious in other parts of the world may lead to an answer along the lines of You drop off at the roundabout next to the gas station You make a left, go down 100 meters If it's after 6 p.m. You may see some people in the courtyard sitting around a fire You walk by, make a right and you can find exactly opposite the green signboard you'll have in front of you. That reality put in perspective of the fact that Africa, constantly growing, evolving, goods and services moving around, both by policy, as well as just the intention of people of wanting to live a better life, leads to the fact that an example KYC requirement would be 
for a bank to open a bank account or anyone a reliable proof of address or businesses being able to advertise where can people find you and so on and so forth. Our intention is to take that concern and using blockchain technologies to put it in a both human and machine readable and verifiable context so that it can be used by third parties room for whatever reason need to access that information. Our experience comes from over 20 years of creating technologies and nine years ago, a startup which we created in West Africa, moving bill payments from the analog to the digital space for service providers, especially utilities, water and electricity. Part of our experience was getting to understand in Africa, training and taking people along is a very big part of the success equation. That's why we gravitated towards Cardano. To be honest, I mean, we were, we were not looking out for Cardano, but just for the right blockchain technologies. But we found an ecosystem in Cardano, very dynamic, very pushful, already having the right foundational layers, which we may need to build on top. Talking identity, which taps into location as well. And of course, the ability to be able to verify whatever we put on that blockchain and maybe create some form of oracles for third parties, which could use, which could be used, you know, to achieve what I just mentioned before. The dynamism of the community is what we're looking into, to be honest, is going to cost us in terms, in monetary terms, multiples of what we're asking for. But we want to tap into the community as well for the ideas, for the dynamism, for the ecosystem, which we find. And hopefully with your support, with your votes, with your contributions, with your questions, with your criticisms, we can structure and move forward in a way that permits us to get to the finish line in the most convenient way possible. And that's my hope and that's what I'm putting forward to you today. Thank you very much and looking forward to all the interactions and hopefully getting your vote as well for our round of funding. Thank you very much. Hello everybody. My name is Lane Bannerman and I'm the founder of Pan-African Tech Foundation. I'd like to speak with you today about our proposal in Fan6, Grow Africa, Grow Cardano, entitled Transform Africa Through Tech. The problem that we find is that Africa lags behind the digital transformation. Where still youth unemployment in Africa continues to rise. Compound, compounded with this is the fact that gender equality is a challenge. Youth unemployment, digital transformation, all impacts the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals 5, 8 and 9. Additionally, the African Union's digital transformation strategy for 2020 to 2030 is unlikely to be achieved if we don't find a way to address the problem. At Pan-African Tech Foundation, we have a robust advisory board made up of African senior officials, royalty, as well as Africans in the diaspora. We also have a robust leadership team. We have developers, trainers of African descent in blockchain and artificial intelligence. We also have sub-regional hub leaders in North, Southern, East, West, and Central Africa to help us to achieve our goals of training across the continent. We also have country representatives in 47 out of the 54 countries on the continent. We have African entrepreneurship hub founders and African Innovation Hub founders as well. Our solution and our value proposition is promotion of technology, innovation, and entrepreneurship in a gender neutral manner. Blockchain is an especially important technology for PATEF. Boot camps in blockchain, artificial intelligence, and entrepreneurship is our solution. We're using these boot camps to train and empower Africa's youth, including Africa's young women, to be able to innovate and also to train them in entrepreneurship so they can run their own businesses. And this would help to address the issue of youth unemployment. 
We also currently are working on a community growth strategy because at the moment we're in 47 countries and we need to grow our community. We run boot camps in North, Southern, East, West and Central Africa, Africa pardon. We are now going to be running the West Africa boot camp in September. After running the West Africa boot camp, a strategy is to run 305 training sessions per month across the continent. And this will be six training sessions in each country, each of 51 countries, which we intend to achieve by the next month. In six months, we will be running Lingua Franca boot camps, particularly in Portuguese and Arabic, because we have a tagline, leave no African behind, and we have no intention of leaving out Portuguese Arabic speakers. We had a Central Africa bootcamp, which was run in French for the Francophone Africa. Our RI measures have been taken from Facebook in particular, with our social media metrics, as you see. We've had reach in Southern Africa, 69,000 plus, North Africa, 250,000 plus, East Africa, 107,000 plus, Central, 49,000 plus, and in West Africa, we are looking to achieve similar results. Again, we are in 47 countries. Our intention is to reach 54 countries. Our goal at the moment is to achieve community growth across the continent, even as we, we grow Africa and we grow Cardano, working alongside Cardano. We had just reached our first year anniversary. Scaling up on community growth with Cardano is our goal. We're growing Africa, we're growing Cardano. Cardano's presence in Africa is key to driving digital transformation in Africa through blockchain. And we are grateful to have Cardano to work with. Cardano's catalyst challenge will enable us to achieve our goals. If we can achieve the funding of $45,000 for our three boot camps coming up, each costing $15,000. We will also be able to um, contribute towards achieving African Union's digital transformation strategy. The job may be lengthy, but in the words of the great Van Fusi, a man can eat an elephant, it may be one bite at a time. Thank you. Hello, happy Gogwen, everyone. This is Mercy from WADA, West Africa Decentralized Alliance. We've been in Project Catalyst from the beginning and we are here uh, for many years to come. We will continue to build on Cardano for many, many years to come. The WADA Alliance is growing. Um, since Fund 1, we have submitted a proposal uh, in every funding round and in Fund 6, we have 25 plus proposals between us and our partners. We are into adoption driver in Africa. We are into infrastructure and capability building. We are into education and outreach, and we are into collaborations you know, and partnerships. Look for us in Ideascale. We are on Twitter, we're on Facebook, we're in Discord, we're on Telegram, and um, please look out for us. Thank you. Thanks for your support, Cardano community. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hi, my name is John, and I'm excited to tell you more about our project called Cardano Africa Starter Kit, or CASC. Uh, this is part of the Fund 6 Grow Africa, Grow Cardano Challenge, and you can get more information uh, about the proposal on Catalyst. So there's a few challenges that we're looking to address as part of this proposal. Uh, the first is there's a general lack of awareness of Cardano in Africa, and that's something we're looking to change. Uh, second, uh, there's frankly, a general lack of utility on Cardano, at least compared to other blockchains. Um, so we really wanna demonstrate uh, utility on Cardano and, and demonstrate how it can be used to solve real world problems. And then third, and a lot of African nations struggle from government control of money. Uh, there's other blockchains that have famously sort of addressed this challenge. And we think that we can do the same and demonstrate the same with Cardano. So the solution to the problem uh, that we've defined is called the Cardano Africa Starter Kit or CASC. And the initial release of this is called the rewards card release. So the broader vision of CASC is to provide incentives to Africans that perform uh, the general task of becoming Cardano stakeholders. 
And the way we see this working, at least initially, is we're going to fund a set of Yoroi wallets that contain both uh, uh, native ADA and also native tokens or community tokens. So a new Cardano stakeholder can come to the CASC website or web application and essentially download one of these native uh, or uh, the wallets that contain the native tokens and, and the ADA uh, for a total value of about $10 a piece. They can spend the native tokens at a supported retail partner. As part of that transaction, at least the way that Cardano is constructed today, in addition to, to sending the native tokens, you also have to send over a small amount of ADA as well. Then when the retail partner redeems uh, the fiat or the native tokens for fiat at a RADA location that supports CASC, uh, the retail partner gets to keep uh, the, the ADA spent as part of that transaction. So in terms of the benefits for each of the parties involved, at least initially, uh, the, the new Cardano stakeholder, the new user has a, a tangible and, and physical introduction to the utility of Cardano. And obviously they're getting something at least initially for free. Uh, the retail partner also understands how Cardano can be used and the, the value and trust that's baked into that system. Um, but then broadly for the, for the Cardano community, the, the real value that we're seeing is, uh, for one, demonstrating that utility and how Cardano can be used to solve a, a real, world, real world problem, uh, but also uh, in demonstrating trust and showing that we can uh, establish trust in Cardano and the broader ecosystem and, and, the, and the Cardano native tokens. Uh, in that local community consisting of the, the new stakeholders and the retail partners. Uh, and then uh, this initial release is going to be in the form of rewards cards, but eventually we want to shift that to more of a discount card uh, and, and create new, new financial structures. Uh, those are detailed a bit more detail um, in the proposal. So who we are, where we are, uh, the WADA team. Uh, WADA has been around since the, the beginning of Catalyst. Uh, I've been working closely with the WADA team to, to structure this, this proposal. And you can also, in terms of what we've done so far, you can see some more of the financial models and the architecture, some more of the details in, in our proposal on Catalyst. Uh, we're also engaged with retail stores uh, to understand what we could potentially support, uh, support and partner with uh, in this initial release. In terms of the plan, uh, there's a three month build phase where we're building out the web app uh, and, and website. Uh, we're also structuring the manual backend uh, operations, which initially will be manual and eventually we'll automate those processes. Uh, and then we also need to uh, define and build that to a retail store experience. We're then looking at a three to four month adoption phase where we're cycling the, the tokens throughout the community and the deliverables will be a cask web app, uh, the, the backend capabilities and uh, implementation into retail stores. In terms of success, there's, there's two stores that we're targeting, one in Ghana, one in DRC. We want to have about 750 new wallets distributed with about 500 purchases. We also want to demonstrate the utility of Cardano, collect data for future releases, and have net positive feedback from the community. So in summary, uh, CASC, we think, is a, is a really great way to introduce Africans to Cardano, demonstrate the utility of Cardano in Africa, uh, you can find out more information uh, about the project on, uh, on Catalyst, and I want to thank you again for your time. Hello, I'm Carl Henry of Carl Henry Global, and I'd like to thank you for visiting our proposal, Wi-Fi hotspots and internet cafes. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Thank you. Lack of Wi-Fi and availability of affordable computers, available to Africans impedes their progress, we must make it easier and affordable. Our proposal is to subsidize or offer free Wi-Fi access in Africa, make more recycled handsets and computers available, particularly in rural areas. Also to make online training available in multiple African languages. Carl Henry started in business on July 1, 1978. His first business, Unit 2000 Leisure Services expanded over a few years to launching, relaunching and rescuing businesses in various industries. 
He built his first e-commerce website, in September, 1998, called Mailbox2000.com, which incorporated UK limited companies for international clients. Carl Henry Global was registered in March 2010 to bring together all the various business activities into one place. Carl Henry Global has employed over 150 people through the gig economy in recent years. Therefore, we have the ability to support multiple multimedia and multilingual projects across our five core operating areas, which are finance, real estate, internet, corporate and lifestyle. We also offer three service levels. These are show you, with you, and for you. This offers the flexible support level you need, when you need it. Ex-colonialization, lack of knowledge and negative conditioning has led many Africans to apathy relating to improving their life and excelling, they need the information to show them how to succeed. To grow Cardano in Africa, we need to show that Cardano is facilitating access to the internet widely and if possible free. This needs to be with hardware as well as software, rolling out programs to supply affordable Wi-Fi routers to shops, cafes and other areas where people gather, like parks. Also, through recycling programs supplying computers and smartphones. We should translate online information into as many African languages and dialects possible. We must lead by example, break the mental links to the past. Show what is possible from village life to success with solid African examples and fund African mentors to speak to them. We are proposing to set up the initial system and framework, build a team build equipment. This would be followed by building a decentralized organization to expand on the work in multiple African countries. In the next three months our primary objectives are, start building teams in African countries to find potential sites for Wi-Fi hotspots and internet cafes. Identify the networks of internet services in Africa to link up with. Lay the foundation for a decentralized organization to coordinate sites and equipment distribution. Secure sources of recycled routers, computers and smartphones. Establish budgets for subsidizing internet access. Prepare proposals for Catalyst Fund 7. Thank you for watching our proposal.